Selvi, Professor of Biochemistry, Sri Balaji Medical College and Hospital. I am going to talk about extracellular matrix. In all the living organisms, including human beings, the cells are organized into tissues. So the cells, they are surrounded by the space which is filled with the Fluid like water, a ground substance is known as the extracellular matrix. So this extracellular matrix comes under the competency BI 9.1.1, 9.2.1, 9.3, 9.4, 9.5, 9.6, 9.7, 9.8, 9.9, 9.10, 9.11, 9.12, 9.13, 9.14, 9.15, 9.16, 9.17, 9.18, 9.19, 9.20, 9.21, 9.22, 
So this proteins, it's made up of polypeptides. In turn, they are made up of amino acids. So every third amino acid formed by glycine. And it is represented by glycine XY. XY may be other amino acids, mostly proline and lysine. And every third amino acid is glycine. Why every third amino acid is glycine? Glycine, it is the simplest amino acid, the smallest structure. It can occupy the space when the three helical structures are twisted together. It can occupy the minimal space. What are the types and distribution of collagen? So, I said it's various types of collagen. But at least four types we are supposed to know. Type 1 is present in skin, bone, tendon, blood vessels. Type 2 it is present in cartilage. Type 3 in blood vessels. And type 4 in basement membrane. Now coming to the synthesis of collagen. It is synthesized and secreted by the fibroblast. So, synthesized from ribosomes of rough endoplasmic reticulum. So, ribosomes are the protein synthesizing machinery. Coming to the overview of synthesis of collagen, starting from pro-collagen formation, hydroxylation, glycosylation, aggregation into trimer and secretion into extracellular space, tropocollagen formation, assemble into fibril, cross-linking and finally mature collagen formation. Now we are going to see one by one. So from pre-pro-collagen which is a precursor, some signal sequences are removed and forming the pro-collagen. And pro-collagen once it is formed, it is subjected to hydroxylation. So hydroxylation of amino acids Proline forming hydroxyproline and lysine forming hydroxylysine. So this hydroxylation is an example for post-translational modification. So post-translational modification in so protein synthesis. So this modification it requires vitamin C as a coenzyme. After hydroxylation, the next step it is glycosylation. That is addition of carbohydrates, sugar. So what are the sugars we are going to add? Glucose and galactose. And once the glycosylation has occurred, forming a trimer. So aggregation into trimer and then it is secreted into the extracellular space. And once it is secreted into the extracellular space, it is cleaved by the pro-collagen peptidase forming tropocollagen. So now we have synthesized tropocollagen. So once the tropocollagens are formed, you can see the triple head stranded structure and each rod is a tropocollagen. It is arranged one fourth. Each row it is arranged one fourth distance away. So since the distance is maintained equally, this structure now is known as triple stranded quarter staggered arrangements. So when this quarter staggered arrangement is formed and with hydrogen bonding and covalent links, the linkage is formed by fibril formation. The cross links they are formed with the help of lysyl oxidase which is a copper containing enzyme. And once the cross linking is formed, mature collagen is synthesized. So again this is an overall picture showing how the pro-collagen trimer is aggregated and cleaved by the extracellular peptidases and tropocollagen formation and cross-linking and fiber formation. And now age related changes. As age advances what will happen? The number of cross-links increases. So blood vessels, skin and other tissue will become stiffer. So leading on to several health problems. Now coming to the degradation of collagen. It is degraded by the enzyme collagenase. So actually not much concentration is present in the body because collagen has to be there. 
So collagenase the role when it plays a role in conditions of osteoporosis or in terms of cancers. Then only the collagenase will become active and start degrading in forming polypeptide fragments and then finally into peptides. Now coming to the disorders associated with the collagen that includes osteogenesis imperfecta, Erler-Danlos syndrome, Menkes syndrome and scurvy. So this Menkes syndrome, it is the lysyl oxidase I mentioned, it is a copper containing enzyme. So that defect may lead on to the disorder. And scurvy, it is a deficiency of vitamin C which helps in the disproportionate formation of the collagen because it helps in the post translational modification that is hydroxylation of proline and lysine in the formation of collagen. So coming to the other main disorders, osteogenesis imperfecta and Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. So osteogenesis imperfecta, it is due to mutation. So glycine here it is replaced by cysteine in type 1 collagen. You can see the unfolding of the helix. So what will happen if it due to unfolding, bones will get fractured in utero. In utero itself, the bones are getting fractured. So it is also known as brittle bone disease. So the next disease, Erler-Danlos syndrome, it is due to defective type 3 collagen. It is due to defective lysyl oxidase or lysyl hydroxylase and pro-collagen peptidase. This disease, the features will be hyperextensibility of the skin. You can see the elasticity of the skin and the hypermobility of the joints. You can see the movement of the joints. And coming to the next protein, fibrillin. It is a structural component of the myofibril and the disorder is known as Marfan's syndrome. Here the arm span length will be more than the height of the person associated with eye problems like dislocation of the lens and iota problems and affecting the bones. And next protein is the elastin which is a connective tissue protein with rubber like properties as the name suggests. So it is found in the lungs, walls of large arteries and elastic ligaments. For collagen the precursor it is the tropocollagen. For elastin the precursor is tropoelastin. Elastase it is an enzyme can destroy the elastin in alveolar wall. Actually alpha 1 antitrypsin is a substance that inhibits the enzyme elastase. So Inherited defect of alpha 1 antitrypsin may lead on to emphysema. Either increased elastase enzyme or decreased alpha 1 antitrypsin may lead on to emphysema of the lung. And the next protein is the keratin which is the structural protein found in the hair, skin and nails. So the three polypeptides from alpha helical structures, they are held together by disulfide bonds. Harder keratin possesses more disulfide bonds. So disruption of the disulfide bonds causes hair curling. Actually the traditional hairstyle is an example of collagen which is the triple helical structure. So the three types of uh, traditional Hairstyle comes as a classical example for collagen and the hair straightening it is constituted by more keratin and the disruption of the disulfide bond causing curling of the hair. So that finishes the today's topic extracellular matrix. Thank you so much. So far, we have learned about what is extracellular matrix, what are the functions of extracellular matrix and structure of collagen which is the most abundant protein of the extracellular matrix and how it is synthesized and degraded and what are the other fibrous proteins present in the extracellular matrix and the various disorders 
associated with the extracellular matrix like osteogenesis imperfecta and Erler-Danlos syndrome. Thank you.